G'day guys, welcome to my NRL round one, Melbourne Storm versus South Sydney Rabbitohs. Little review recap thing, normally I do the weekly recap, but I think it might be easier for me to do it after games for the most part. Um, I guess I'll do it during those kind of match day vlogs that I do um, after as well. But this game, obviously round one, game one, that was a fantastic way to start the round. Obviously the Melbourne Storm picking up the win here, uh, 26 points to 18. Originally, I predicted the Rabbitohs to win 24-18. And uh, the Rabbitohs, they had plenty of chances. They just could not hold on to the ball all night. These boys were playing like they had oil all over them. Um, there were some big games from some big players, though. Obviously, Cameron Smith retirement yesterday. Who? What was next for the Melbourne Storm? Who would step up and be leader? We saw Bromwich get the captain role. Uh, Cameron Munster, obviously, scoring the first try of the 2021 season and having a huge game tonight, really stepping up in leadership. But for me, someone who controlled this game and made it his own, even the way he held onto the ball and ran it, I think who signed a contract last week, Jerome Hughes, he was just absolutely outstanding in regards to his game control. And he's got a big future with the Melbourne Storm. Um, I think Pappenhausen with his double was just electric to watch. Um, I think he scored the second or third try of the game, Melbourne, with a really dominant lead going into half time, 22 points to six. Um, but in the end, the second half, the Rabbitohs, well, they got their opportunities and they capitalized it. Latrell Mitchell had a fairly good game. I still think he's got another level in him. I didn't think he was exactly X Factor tonight, even though I did see a lot of comments on Instagram and stuff saying that uh, Latrell Mitchell could push for the Dally M. I just don't know. Adam Reynolds showed a, a masterclass of his kicking uh, from the sideline again. I thought really good. I think Pappenhausen only missed one goal all night, so that was really good. Uh, he scored some high points for Supercoach. I might make a video recapping my Supercoach team and their point at the end of the round. But all in all, I thought it was a very intense, exciting game, round one. As I mentioned, the Rabbitohs, they just kept dropping the ball. One player that I would say... I would say he was the Rabbitohs' man of the match tonight, in my opinion. Been looking forward to him putting this jersey on. I did originally predict that he would head over to the Rabbitohs last year, even though he was contracted to the Titans. And that is Jai Arrow. Jai Arrow has been kind of a little wrecking ball uh, in the game that has been very underrated for the Titans for a while now. And I thought he looked really good under coach Wayne Bennett. He looked really good tonight, and I think he's in for... A big season, he brings impact off the bench. It's really good to see him off the bench rather than starting. He really does bring that impact. Uh, Benji Marshall looked good with some nice passes, but a few costly errors. But you know what? It wasn't just him. It was the whole bloody team tonight. Uh, Alex Johnston with two meat pies to his name to start the 2021 season. He'll undoubtedly be the Rabbitohs' top try scorer in the end of the season. Who else is there to go through? I thought Cody Walker was a bit quiet. I expected a little bit more from him. thought Cameron Munster was really good up against him. And uh, Munster was just outstanding all night. Uh, obviously, Harry Grant being out gave Brandon Smith a role at hooker starting. And we've seen it before, but he was really good tonight, Brandon Smith. If you had him in Supercoach, I think he would have scored a few points for you as well. I thought he had really solid game, uh, burrowing hard. Uh, Justin Olam. Obviously scoring a try, winning me a bit of money there, which was nice. Uh, but Justin Olam with the backwards or sideways play the ball, will it be one of the funniest moments to look back on in 2021? Well, it really could be, you know. But uh, no, I think for round one, very excited to have the footy back. I had the tingles going down my spine as the countdown clock was on, as we saw uh, a little montage as well leading into the season with... Uh, commentators and things coming together on the pitch, I believe, of Bankwest Stadium, but it could have been North Queensland. I'm not sure, but let me know in the comments what you thought of the game. I think for me, uh, top three players on the field, probably Ryan Pappenhausen, Jerome Hughes, and I can't go past uh, I can't go past uh, Jai Arrow. I really want to give it to Cameron Munster. He had a big game, but for me, I think Jerome Hughes really stepped up tonight. And, uh, yeah, I, I didn't expect him to be just as good as he was. He, he controlled the game and 
Melbourne looked a little bit shaky towards the end and they, they let the ball go a few times when normally Cameron Smith might kick it out and just slow the game down, but they weren't going for that. They were going for get through their sets and they were giving South some opportunity. Obviously, South's put in a fight with the second half, outscoring Melbourne in the second half, but it was the Melbourne Storm who prevail in round one. Once again, 26 points to 18. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you thought of this. If you would like to see weekly recaps, let me know in this video. It's kind of a test demo, but I quite think it'd be fun to do it after games. It might be the day after sometimes if I'm heading back from a game and driving from Sydney and stuff. But yeah, really enjoy making these videos and I will see you guys later. Thank you.